The engine oil leak I want to discuss in this video only applies to turbo diesel engines from 1978 to 1985. The oil leak occurs right along here on the side of the oil pan area. This is the passenger side forward. You could even mistake this oil leak for something coming out of the pan gasket. You have the pan gasket right here and these bolts will get all wet and you might look under the car and think, oh, you know, my pan gasket is leaking or the bolts are loose. You go to replace that and you come back and, and it's still dripping oil, dripping oil right off the pan in this area. Well, the leak occurs right at this tube and the seals associated with it. See that O-ring right there? And there's a a rubber seal that seals a tube into the pan. This is a steel tube, aluminum pan. This is the drain tube for the turbocharger oil. So I call it the turbo oil drain leak fix kit that we came up with. It's not that it's a, a big deal to get the, the O-rings on. The problem is doing this with the turbocharger on it. Notice the whole turbocharger and intake assembly is off the engine. How easy would it be for me to go ahead and change uh, these O-rings in the seal? The O-rings, there's uh, four of them in the kit and a gasket because there's a pipe that goes up and bolts up to the bottom of the turbo here and you need to take that pipe off and you need to replace the gasket. Well, the problem is getting that pipe off. Because if you can't get the pipe off coming from the turbo, you can't get this tube out to replace the O-ring in here and then this seal. This seal gets hard. See how soft this one is? And when these age and get hard, they start seeping and weeping oil out of here. And this O-ring will get hardened, so the oil that's draining from the turbocharger will drip by here and run down the tube. So we had to come up with a special tool once again. Good old special tools. Look at the angle that we had to put in this wrench. We actually heat these and bend them in the shop so that you can get up underneath the turbocharger and get to those two bolts that hold the downpipe to the base of the turbo center section. So we include this tool because without it, you would not be able to do this job. So uh, this is a, this is a, an important leak that you may have to attend to. It, you know, there's nothing more frustrating than having oil dripping off the pan where you park the car. So if you see an oil leak in this area, you might mistake it for an oil leak coming out of the turbocharger, or you could even mistake it for an oil leak coming out of the pan gasket. But what I recommend you do is you thoroughly clean this area and then go drive the car and come back and get a flashlight and a mirror and get up here and inspect this seal right here and this area right here where that other pipe fits over the top of this down tube. And you may be surprised to find out that the leaks are here and not coming from somewhere else. So if, if you got oil dripping on this side of the engine, you know where to look. 